do a POV drive in it. So you really get the experience of being behind the wheel. Welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to be doing something that I've wanted to do for a long time, and that's do a Pagani POV drive with Randy. So we're gonna show you that in a minute, but before we get to it, we have to thank today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare can help you make 2022 a year of learning, growth, and connection through creativity. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography, illustration, to graphic design, freelancing, and more, you can find classes that match your goals and interests. Maybe you're interested in a career pivot or leveling up your skills in your current role. Skillshare is a great resource for freelancers and entrepreneurs to help you learn new skills to support your growing side hustle. So folks, for those who don't know, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is run the back end of Savage Garage. So that's editing the videos, getting designs made for t-shirts, making the thumbnails. I mean, there's a lot of graphic design that goes into what we do. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know how to use every single tool that's out there and specifically with Adobe. I actually personally took the graphic design masterclass that's done by Lindsay Marsh on Skillshare. And it covers Photoshop, it covers InDesign, it covers Illustrator. These are things that yes, I could every time I had a question, I could go on YouTube or whatever and type in like how to do this or I could just watch one class and it teaches me how to use the tool completely. Some of the nice things with Skillshare is they're ad free so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills and new premium classes are launched each week so there's always something new to discover and there's an entire catalog now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese and German. Click the link in the description below to get started with Skillshare today and the first thousand of our subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So folks, with all that being said, check the link in the description down below and sign up for Skillshare today. I promise you're not going to regret it. And now for the Pagani POV. Watch this, ready? It's so cold. It's like that sad whale. I'm so lonely. I'm just a big fat whale. What whale are you talking about? You don't know that? No. Jim Gaffigan? He knows. That's how whales would talk if they talk. Yes. yes. <laughs> Trying to do the whale dog. Good afternoon, Savage Garage fans. We are here at my house. I've got the Pagani out and I thought we'd do a POV drive in it. So you really get the experience of being behind the wheel and everything like that. But also just you get the sounds and all the visceral action that happens with the Pagani. We'll actually open it up and take a look inside and talk about the structures and everything. So let's take a look. I always have loved the leather straps. Gotta be really these careful because this one's already. That one's frayed. The other one's broken. No, this one's this one's done. I oh. actually wanted to do with the copper. I wanted to do their dark brown leather. I thought it looked really cool with everything. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I'm not sure, and I don't want to risk that, especially with the amount of money that these things cost. But what did you say the, the cost of the leather straps were? I think they're like were? two or three thousand dollars just <laughs> for the four straps. So this is the front. Right. So this is the front. There's just nothing but suspension. And I mean, look at these, uh, look at the upper and lower arms. Mm -hmm. It's insane. So this is an, uh, this is your lower control arm. This is your upper control arm. Mm -hmm. And then it's attached with a suspension. Here's your tie rod. So all of this is just built beautifully handcrafted. Obviously it's a little dirty right now. We'll get, we'll get a full detail done on it. I just noticed this now, even that those hoses down there, Randy, have Pagani written on yeah. them. Yeah. That's yeah. insane. Right, exactly. Even all the, and also all the clips. Everything. Yep. So every single bolt on this car mm -hmm. has a Pagani logo and there's what, I think the, like right here, if you take a look right here, yep. even you that can one. see even all these have the Pagani logo on them. Yep. There are, what is it? I think it's 1800 bolts for the car and a total cost of over $120,000 just for the bolts. <laughs> you don't want to lose a bolt. You don't want to lose a bolt, but then you have all these kind of cool things like this. Oh. So this is your, this is your emergency kit over here. What's in this one? Another one? Yeah, there's two types of things. I forget which is in the, each one of these. I don't know. I've never even. Let's we'll take open a look. Let's See take what, a look. What you got? It's a lot of plastic in there. I can tell you that. You're probably one of the only Pagani owners. There you actually go. Opens this up. There you go. You got a tow hook. Yeah, the tow hook. Oh, and you got a vest, like a an yeah. emergency vest, so you don't get hit on the side of the road. 
working on your Pagani. Right, because people don't go, what the hell is that? So what year is this car, by the way? So all of the all of the base wires are 2014. Okay. Then they then they do what's called the Tempesta pack in 2016-17. They added a lot of things, including the front lip. It added a new set of wheels. Mm -hmm. This wheel, the wheel came on it was a brushed silver. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't, you know, slightly polished. I wasn't a huge fan. I thought I aged the car a little bit. What's really nice is you also have your cut your built-in luggage. Oh. So these pieces are obviously, you know, expensive to replace, but what do I know? I just store my chemicals and cleaner in it like an idiot. Actually, oh, you're probably one of the only people that use it, Randy. Well, this That's is car cover. This is my car cover. That's cool. I yep. didn't I didn't know there was a custom car cover for this. Yeah. For the price, you should get one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is really designed as a grand touring car. You have the capability of going away on a long weekend and using the luggage because there's no trunk. There's obviously nowhere to store it. It's built in. So now that they've done what's called the smart gas update, yeah, which I don't understand the terminology, but anyway, it's a transmission update they did for the car. Yeah, it is tremendously better. It's smooth. It's it, it's not nearly as jerky. I I would associate this car with like a Lamborghini Aventador kind of uh, kind of pull when it was in the beginning. This is smoother than an Aventador now, where you have to, if you hit it hard in an Aventador and shift, mm -hmm. you get that full neck snap. Yeah. This is not, this will neck snap you if you're fully on it. Yeah. To be honest with you, you'll just smoke the crap out of the tires. And these red lines, though pretty, are bricks. Yeah. They're basically like putting on just a plastic tire and a big wheel. That's <laughs> the only way I can describe it. Let's talk about these mirrors. So first of all, the design of them is beautiful. It's actually designed after Harashi's wife. Really? Eye, her eye. Wow. So if you look at it, it looks like an Italian woman's eye, sort of that beautiful shape to it. There is a Euro version of this, which I think is better. Okay. And that's a shorter one. So it's kind of like here. Yeah. So these are huge. Mm -hmm. And the design of them, though beautiful, not very functional from a using the car standpoint. Okay. You can obviously very carefully move the mirror out of the way to do this if, for transport issues. If you want to freak somebody out, you just do that at a car just, show. Yeah, yeah, it's just, this is the scariest thing ever moving this. Because you can do it the other way too, can't you? Yeah, you can move them both ways, but if you do that, you can hit the door. Oh, That's why they go forward. I see. So if you did that and closed it, it would, that would, be it, bad. It would shatter. Well, it wouldn't shatter it. It would break what's the most important thing in here. This little metal fitting right here, yeah. the carbon fiber sleeve goes down into it mm -hmm. and is sealed, that's it. This is all of the attachment basically in for this sleeve, Yeah, is that depth. So it's not a lot and then it's spring loaded underneath. Yep. So if you go back and show like me fixing the mirrors, trying to do whatever, it's impossible to fix once you've done it. We, we tried gluing it a hundred times. So actually ended up, this is a brand new carbon fiber mirror at the simple price of $10,300. <laughs> Just this one mirror. You can also see that we've got some more fitted, uh, fitted luggage back here. Yep. Right now my suitcase my, excuse me, my, my suit bags are being stored, so that way they don't get ruined. Mm -hmm. And what's nice also, you've got a plaque here. This is number 50 of 100. All the exposed shift linkage, which is just insane. If you see everything, you can see everything move around when you do it. The key, obviously one of the, one of the biggest, coolest things in this car is this beautiful key. That's beautiful cool. outside surrounding, surrounding a $435 Mercedes-Benz key. And it even has a little storage spot for the front. That's awesome. Everybody thinks this is a steer, uh, a speaker or some sort of sports setting. Yeah. Sadly, it's just the height raise for the seat. That's What's all cool? it is. <laughs> That's all it is. Everybody's like, what is that? That looks cool. Nope. Just a height raise for the seat. So if you wanted to raise your seat up, just give it a spin. Glove box, very simple. The pockets are huge in this car. Which is great because you can stick you can stick a water bottle in there and you can put your glasses. So it has storage and functionality and then there's more function in here. I have a rag in there just in case I need it for any reason. The design is just gorgeous. I mean, all the vents, to shut off the vents, you just give them a turn and that shuts the vent air off. 
they really do look like turbines. Yep. Well, everything kind of looks very airplane-ish. Um, you can see here you've got your toggle switches. These just turn on the lights. Yeah. The interior lights. Then you have your launch button up here as your launch control. Everything in here is all foreign from one piece of billet aluminum. So is the entire um, dash, which is very interesting because you can move in the whole thing together. Wow. So, and it's just one piece. There are car, a lot of the BCs now have this in like a, a polished black. Yeah. I don't think it looks as good. I think this kind of, this jewelry, I think it's, I think it's like a taste thing, like a Rolls Royce with a black badge. I don't like the black badge so much because the fact that I think it ruins what is, looks like a Rolls Royce with that beautiful silver grill. Yeah. Get this. Yes. You can't remove the ashtray. I don't Wait think you can. No. Oh my gosh. You can't remove it to empty it. So never How? smoke in a Pagani. Yeah, how do you, <laughs> you know? So one of the great features about this car, it does have a battery kill switch. Mm -hmm. So I can just shut off everything and don't have to store, I don't have to keep it on a tender. So the battery is basically killed. Mm -hmm. I've never had a battery issue with this car, which is un unheard of in hypercar territory. Most of them are, you know, you leave them sitting for a week and they need a battery start. So you hit the magical kill switch. See, that's underneath under there. here, I turn it on and then it'll cycle. You hear it coming on starts all of its processes all right so the startup procedure for the pagani turn the key everything comes to life you'll see the gauges do their thing and then and we are live <laughs> So what's kind of cool is just a couple of the features about the car. Yeah. You can change the color variations within the car. So if you want it to go a little more blue, you can change the light. There's purple and you can go into blue and all the different variants, shades. You can change the, the languages, obviously. You have your phone, you have your climate control. We got the light switches, we said launch control. Uh, we're going to pull the e-brake off and put our seatbelt on like a smart guy. Right now you can see we need gas pretty badly, so we're going to go get some gas. So the car itself handles really, really well. I mean, it's definitely a GT car, 100%. Um, GT hypercar, if you could call that. It's capable of doing 240 miles an hour plus, um, without a doubt. I know this for a fact. <laughs> but you can imagine, you can see the mirror there, even though it still vibrates a little, that's the normal vibration. Imagine it wiggling up and down and like by two or three, in, two inches, like back and forth, it was crazy. Uh, how's the steering wheel on this car? That's very nice, you got nice grip. Carbon all here and here. Um, you have all your controls, your turn signals, your lights, your windshield wipers. Everything is there. And you can hear the wonderful sounds of the turbos. We're not going to hit it too hard today because it is cold and these tires are bricks. But we'll get on it a little bit. tires just uncontrollably go in this car especially with these brick tires and the ice cold that it is right now um, it says it's 43 degrees it's probably like 33 with the wind chill this is the warmest day we've had in a week yeah so some of the other features you got here you got your rear defroster you know standard stuff fog lights yep. hazard switches door locks this is this is a wing check um, so it can do a basically a show show dance where it makes the wings go up and down and yep. it's kind of cool So when you're driving this, what do you prefer more to drive? Do you prefer the paddles or do you? I don't yeah, I, I use this every now and then it's more of a this is a You know if you felt like doing the paddles are here um, 
there's no real benefit to using the sequentially type shift, but it does look good. I just find it where I put my thumbs here and put my hands around the shifters. I got, you know, full control of the car. The horn button is where the yep. thumb grips are. Yep. <laughs> and snack cakes. Oh, fits in mine. <laughs> is the driver's side is bigger than the know. passenger? Look at that, look. There it is. That's pretty good. I know, right? So let's talk about the trans update. Yeah. So before when you would engage, it would kind of feel like you were doing like if anybody has ever driven a single clutch car on a hill where it feels like it, it jerks or if you don't actually have if you have a manual car and you actually don't do it properly, the gas to clutch release, it kind of jerks. So it would do that every now and then. Now the smart gas update, shoot, this thing's smooth as a baby's no bottom. So how does it shift um, when you're off of power? Is it like a smooth downshift or does it still... Oh yeah, like if I just off the power, yeah. you don't feel anything. Everybody who's ever seen videos of us driving like the SVJ or or any single type clutch like that, the Mercy Lagos, um, that's a, you know, a different a different feel altogether. Now, I like it, and I think Jimbo likes it too, because it feels very visceral, and you feel like you're part of the car. However, in a car like this, and after long drives and all that, I mean, look at this. This thing's got 7,896 miles on it. I have driven nearly 6,800 of the miles, because I drove, I bought it just a little over a thousand miles on it. So, I've probably driven you know, the Pagani more than most people would ever drive a Pagani. And certainly in the time frame, you know, because I mean, this is now what, year two with this car? And, you know, that's a lot of miles. And considering we had COVID and we didn't drive anywhere and all that, and also I sold it in the middle. <laughs> Let me get these tires warm. <laughs> that is so awesome, dude. All right, just to give you a little feel of, you know, the power and everything. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow, and the sounds are just insane. You know, it was designed to sound like an airplane, guys. It's just, a, it's just a great handling car. hearing you're gonna hear road thumps and all that stuff just because the tires are absolute garbage um, these are very loud tires. these are very cool very loud very crappy tires um, they will come off the car I will put them in the warehouse and I will put a set of fresh tires on this without a doubt but for now it's good you know for because it's been it's the winter here so I don't do a lot of driving in the winter, obviously, with this, but it's still kind of fun.
absolutely love it. Listen to that all day around. 